All right, so a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Well, Justin Bowles and I are not going a thousand miles, but it's going to feel like it. We're heading way outside to see if we can get on any speckled trout in this post berry world. We don't know what we're going to find. We don't even know if we can get there. We'll see how conditions look in Lake Bourne, if we can even cross it. But if things look good, we're going to head way out there. Got at least an hour boat ride, but that's how far you got to go right now to get on speckled trout with so much fresh water in the region. Those trout are spawning, of course, and they're out in the salty stuff. And man, look, I haven't caught a speckled trout in at least a month, probably even longer than that. When was your last trout, Justin? Ooh. Maybe a month and a half. Month and a half. So we're both trout starved. Hopefully that changes today. We'll see. Look at this moon. Man, is that pretty. All right, wish us luck, here we go. All right, so Justin and I made it here to Isle of Pete, the long run, <laughs> but Hopefully it was worth it. It's just awesome to be even targeting speckled trout right now. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. It's a little trout. It's a little trout. I'm throwing a Versamax bolt cork with a TKO shrimp. That's a keeper. It's a keeper speckled trout. First trout I've caught in weeks, many, many weeks. And he is feisty. Grunting male. All right, Justin's hooked up. Dude, good trout, good trout. Yeah, really nice trout. <laughs> Look at that. Worth the trip, Justin. All right, so Justin and I hooked up on our first two casts. <laughs> we got the power pole down, we took some pictures, and now I'm tying on a top water. Classic green bone chrome, Justin's hooked up again. Another trout? This tide is pulling us on top of the sand. Oh, this is awesome. So nice to be on speckled trout. Another keeper fish. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Look what I tied on. No back hook. Come on, big gorilla trout. Smoke my topwater bait. How well can you see the foot of your trolling motor? This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Puglia Sporting Goods. Oh, goodness. There he is, Justin. Green bone chrome topwater bait. Mirror she dog, and that dude smoked it. Man, did he smoke it. I heard it. Did a gap top? <laughs> I hope not. Nice trout. I think I can flip him. There he is. Nice speckled trout. How about that? Oh, topwater bait, my favorite way to catch them after a couple of months, not catching any trout at all. You know what, fishing out here, the Mississippi guys are usually pretty friendly and courteous. Oh, really? Yeah. The Louisiana guys are Usually speaking, yep. <laughs> I guess the Mississippi guys feel like they're outside of their, their area, so they gotta be nice. Oh, there he is, get him, Justin. Feels like a keeper. You hedging your bets? <laughs> Swimming at you. All right, here we go. Ooh, man, I wasn't even looking. That's a keeper, definitely. Good fish. You had a little blow up at the same time. Yeah, I wasn't even. I was looking at you, and I didn't. I didn't see him or, or hear him. I just felt him. Ripped the rod out of my hands. 
Dude, you feel that? The boots. I feel. Uh -oh. I feel it. It's the tide ripping. Tide well, look at my look at your cork. Yeah. Backwards. Get him, Justin. Get him, Justin. Oh, that's a good trout. For a cork, that's a good fish. Nice. All right, you gonna make me throw the cork again, huh? I got my one on top, I'm happy. All right, it's pretty late in the morning and still be throwing top water. It's not terribly late, but in the summertime, they definitely don't hit these top water baits once that sun gets up, or at least they slow way down. And right now it is 726. Justin's catching them pretty good on a cork, so I should probably switch back. Technically, they should be on the other side with the water washing over the same thing. See, I'm the opposite. I like where it compresses. Do you? Yep. Oh, yeah, that tide's screaming. What's the range today? Do you know? Nine, I think 40? 1.9 or something, what I looked at. 1.9, so yeah. it's a giant, giant tide. I mean, with the full moon. Yeah. Well, you know what, though? The full moon, there's there's no correlation between full moon and tide. Gerald Horst told me that years ago, and I thought he was full of <laughs> And I went and looked it up, and he told me, he said, go look at the tide every March. Sure enough, in March, the full moon coincides with the weakest tide. Really? Yep. I always thought it was. I always did too, and it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's all kind of things people think that are just untrue. And Gerald has helped me, like he's, you know, he's a freaking biologist, but he's helped me see all kind of things that are that are just common knowledge that are not fact like trout spawning on a full moon everybody thinks that it's complete i've had conversations with about that and he still posts like how he caught his big fish because of the full moon like what magically happens because the moon's full yeah. where are those fish like all oh, the big fish moved in because of the full moon what moved in from where where were they <laughs> oh i heard that <laughs> I don't know what it was, but I'm gonna check it out. There he is. Oh, nice trout. Pretty, pretty, pretty trout. Oh, goodness. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. All right. This TKO is a deadly, deadly bait. Great fish under a cork. And it always slides up after you hook a fish, which I really like because they can't throw the hook. It's got no weight. It's just a hook. I thought that fish was better than it was, but you pulled it against that current. Yep. Made it feel like a four-pounder. I really want to switch to the Creole. <laughs> this water is clean enough. For oh, yeah. There he is. That's a stud there, huh? I don't think he's as big as you think he is. It's just fighting him against that current. He bows you up when you set the hook. Is the I nice. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, my goodness. Man, I miss that. I got to switch to some spark. You want some, uh, you want a TKO? No, I, I'm going to put a, uh, I got a jig head on him. I'm going to put a trim on All right. There he is. There he is. Not the biggest trout of the day, but hopefully he makes the cut. He's not happy with the current predicament. He may be on to hey, you see the color of it? It's kind of chartreuse with clear body. Chartreuse bag. Bunch of silver flake in it. Uh-huh. Yep. But I think the thing with this bait, what makes it good is the, the fall rate. Yeah, how it Yeah, it just, it's really slow falling. It looks like a real shrimp. This episode of Marsh Mad Mass On brought to you by H&H &H Lore Company and by Fitzgerald Fishing and by Sportsman's Outfitters and by Bill Lewis and by Death Grip Jig Heads. What you got, Justin? Nice one? I think so. It's hard to feel them in this current. Yeah, you're right. There's a keeper. So Justin and I bought 20 live shrimp this morning from Wrigley's Marina, but we're not intending to use them for speckled trout. We're gonna scan crab trap corks on the way in, looking for triple tail. It's a long shot, obviously, but definitely wanna have the bait in case we run across one. 
Dude, you gonna try and hit that cork? That look good to you? You're supposed to have good vision. What would you say we have? Maybe a four or five knot wind? Yeah, that's right. About a ten knot tide. Ten knot tide, four knot wind out of the south. Water clarity, I'd say, is about a five. What would you say? Water clarity is a five. Obviously, it's got some salinity. Get him, bowls! Nice. Nice! Very nice. All right. Yeah. I'm your deckhand, buddy. Oh, Justin, I think we got another throwback. In fact, I'd say we definitely got another throwback. Two on the day, not a bad ratio. Croaking male. He's a young bloomer. Go ahead, dude. Go spawn. Go get you some. Spanning out the beds for the female. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, you know, it is a full moon, so... Oh, I think he's now nah, he's a throwback. He felt nice at first. I don't know. Nah, I think he's too little. Yep, too little. He was strong though. I'm gonna float us in a little bit shallower and then we'll sleep. Alright. You gotta get in where they're spawning. Yeah. I'll pull the male off the net. And then I'll I'll follow and get the female. Team fishing. Alright, our bite kind of waned on the west side of the island. So Justin and I have come around to the east side and the water here is even prettier. Back there I'd say it was a five, up here is probably a seven or an eight. Now obviously this is some type of rookery. There are birds all over this island. Look at this. Mostly seagulls and pelicans. Right now we're kind of upwind from them. Definitely wouldn't want to be fishing downwind. Justin just had a takedown on his first cast here on this east side. The fish got really small on that west side. Hopefully it's not a trend. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Feels like our first keeper in a while. No. Oh, this might be. No, he's not. <laughs> he's just strong. Oh, you got a keeper. You got a keeper. If you can get him in the boat. Mine is not. He's definitely not. How can fish this size be that strong to hit that hard? I mean, he might be a keeper, but yeah, he's a keeper, but just barely. I mean, he hasn't come up. You bet your boat? Oh yeah, that's a good fish. I think he's a keeper. I think he's a keeper. Oh yeah. Oh come on, that's a keeper. That's a I keeper. Think, I felt like I could have had a keeper. That's a keeper, Justin. Maybe. Possibly. Double we got a double. double. I don't think yours is a keeper. I think mine is. Keeper. Yeah, look at that boy. Mine my, my could eat yours. Double! The only one's going in the box. Goodness. Martin really wanted this TKO shrimp. What you got, JB? This one's fighting. He's fighting? Yeah. Well, you are sitting down, so. That's a keeper? Oh, yeah. Hammer time. Uh, yeah, I think he's a keeper. I think he's going to make it. Nah, I don't know. He's got a shot. He hasn't come up at all. Yeah, I think he might be a keeper. Yeah, he's a keeper. He, he's a keeper now until he changed the limit. No, go, go ahead. 
All right, so Justin and I are running in from our successful trout trip, and we just ran across a triple tail on a crab trap buoy. It is absolutely a triple tail. It's on plain as day. I can't see the fish. I can see the buoy. You see him? Yep. You want to go on that side of him, or what do you want to do? You happy where you are? Oh, yeah, he's there. Well, you can be in the trap. There he is. Get him, bowls. Get him, bowls. You want a net? Where's the net? It's right here in this big compartment. I don't think he's done. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful one. He does not like this boat. It's incredible how powerful they are, huh? Don't horse him, just take your time. You got him, dude. That's what we've been after. Man, is that awesome or what? Look at this fish. Big soccer lay. Let's make it the boat. What are you saying? Uh, let me see. I don't, I'm gonna say six. Man, I tell you what, this day could hardly get any better. Justin and I had great success catching speckled trout, and we ran, how many buoys do you think we ran? Maybe 20 or 30? Yeah. 20 or 30 today, so far, and we ran across this beautiful triple tail. I mean, these things are so good to eat. If you've never had one, you don't know what you're missing. This is just an incredible day. You need a shrimp? Here you grow. So I had to talk Justin out of trying to catch this one with the top water. Oh, by the way, we've run across another one. Looks like it's probably undersized, but we're not positive. We're just gonna go ahead and catch him the traditional way because these things cannot resist a live shrimp. They just cannot. You just throw past the buoy and bring it back with an eyesight He's after it already. He's going to swim to it. Yeah, he is. Aaron, you just saw it. He just saw it. Did you spook him, Justin? Oh, no, he's behind it. He's behind it. He's trying to get the core. There he goes. Oh, he's going down he to it. He, he took the shrimp. Oh, he Justin. Took, he took the shrimp and never took the cork under. There he is. There he is. Give me shrimp. Give me shrimp. Give me shrimp. Keep an eye on him. He's going back to that trap. Okay, good. Here. I tell you, he's bigger than I thought he was. I kind of got in a bad position for him. He went back to the trap he or you don't know? He heading back to it. He was just swimming along the surface. He ate your shrimp without eating your hook. Yeah. I didn't know he was on. Yeah. He's got a full belly. Yeah, he was trying to hit the cork. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could have caught him on top of it. <laughs> Maybe. All right, you want to mosey? Yeah. All right, Justin and I ran across another triple tail. This one, unfortunately, is the size of a a big oak leaf. <laughs> but we're going to catch him and release him just for kicks. Oh, these things are so strong. Really incredible. This is not a big fish. Where'd you put the net? It's under my camera. I'll just pick him up. I tell you what, he's bigger than I thought he was. He, he, he's way bigger he's, than he looks. He's yeah. not legal, but such a beautiful fish. Look how pretty these fish are. We should have measured him. What do you think he was? Probably about 15. What's legal? 18, huh? I think 18. 
Eat. Yeah, they're stupid. They don't run out of cars. They just kind of eat. Oh, something to eat. Man, what an epic fishing trip. And catching those triple tail was such a great way to close out the day. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. Until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson.